Here's the thing. Having a bot, it doesn't mean the game's unwinnable, like, at all. We, we won with a bot earlier. Wait, I think we've had bots in more games than not. I know this is going to sound f***ed up, but it almost teaches you a good lesson. Because you should be thinking of your teammates like, like, bots. Seriously. You should not expect them to do anything. And, and you don't, they don't need to. What I'm saying is, that bot is really not that much different than a teammate that's not playing well. I don't want, like, I, I hope they don't have a bot, like, in any of these games. Like, shit would be so boring. So, okay, pay attention, you Oi. rats. Pay attention. Hitting a minion twice. Starting my slow push. Gonna try to, as soon as he goes for the CS, Q. Got the, got the CS, hit him, proc mana flow. Got all my CS, auto him. When he's past his uh, range minion line, he's gonna Q here. Q him, auto. Okay, gonna do the same thing. When he walks up for the next CS. Here he comes, Q, auto. Bring the ball back to me by walking out of range. Q through the CS, hit him. We're gonna go E because he's gonna jump in here. I'm gonna pull the thing back to me, hit him with it, auto. No CS to get, walk up, look for Q. Q, he walked up too far. Gonna hit level three here in one minion. Look for, uh, we're actually gonna put two points in Q. Actually, I'm just gonna Q now. Have a level, uh, have a level advantage here, so always gonna take that fight. Q here, he goes for that, good. He's gonna Q here as well. Hit him with E. Okay. Gwen is in the back of my mind. If I see here, I'll probably have to pop Ghost. Pot up to, that, to get ready to dive. He does have W, we gotta pop the shield first. Okay, he, can, he has to give all this. Okay, now he just uses E and his W. Now we're gonna push again. Notice how I'm positioning to so, like whenever he's going to do something, I'm already in position to punish if he doesn't give. This is where like things like really get bad for him. Gonna stack up this, this cannon. Q through, just in case he's like starting his recall. Try to scout him. Oh, I think we got him. Yeah, so he, he did recall. So now we just push and punish like that. It's almost, it's almost as bad as him dying. It's, it's like pretty similar. Okay. 34 CS to 13. We're gonna get Dark Seal boots and refill pot because Dark Seal, you should be getting pretty much any game as a mage on your first back. Boots over an amp tome because boots bring a lot of value versus Gwen and Yone, especially versus Yone. Gotta get the wave pushing back the other way slowly. Right now he's not in the lane, so we're not gonna actually push. We're just gonna freeze because he's bleeding right now. This wave will naturally crash on its own, but while it's doing that, I'm gonna deny him. Okay, when he walks up for this. Again. Okay, now I'm six. I can walk up to his ghost. I'm gonna fight here, because I'm six. Just save all. I can't believe my Q didn't kill. I actually had to flash to finish him. What the Arr! f is this? Kite to my graves. Make sure to last hit that. We'll go lost chapter. I could also go magic pen boots here to snowball because of the, the movement speed value that we talked about, but and magic pen super good early. At this point, I don't have sums and he's six, so like I'm I'm I can't just run at him, but can just punish his mistakes because like he's gonna use Q here, probably. Oh, he tried. Thresh scared him off. Okay, he's gonna walk up here. Okay, that's his big cooldown, so now we can play aggressive. Still have to be careful because he can he can alt me. He's gonna Q here. QW. Q again. Okay. 
Okay. Throw the ball, get ready to kill him. Pot up. Q, W, Alt, and then to bring him behind the ball. And then E to bring it back and finish him. Okay, we're gonna go Magic Pin Shoes for the snowball potential. Just like before, gotta play a little safe when my ult's down. Because his is up. Looks like he's doing heralds for whatever reason, so we're just gonna push. He must feel like he can't lane anymore. He's not really sure what to do about it. So we're just gonna push here. If Gwen comes, I just kill her. Here she comes. See what happens when you're like pushing the lane. That's like what the pressure does to them. They feel like they need to try to come and stop you, but they can't. Yone actually doesn't want to come back to lane anymore. Here she comes again. Okay, I think their mentals have been shattered. So I'm pretty sure that's like the most commentary I can do for this because like it's just over now. Like the Yone won't lane. My teammates are doing too well. It's just hard because everything's happening so fast. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, nice ult. Could have played that one a little bit better. I was, I was caught off guard a bit. Why Q, E, Q a wave versus pressing Q twice? Because it lets me do more damage to the uh, melee ones. Oh, that guy's just, that's enough league for the day for him. Okay, so what, what, what this is called, pay attention here, this is called a pig oink, oink. jungler that, nothing. Good job. Good fun. Good job. My yup. Smite it all day. What a oink, 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 oink. pig. Oh god. God, Oriana is such a sick champ, dude. Such a shame how Oi. this game is. In my opinion, what made Lee great is that high skill ceiling, but the simplicity of it. Like, her kit is one of the best in the game, if no, one of the best designed game, if no, it is. Oriana's kit is literally the best designed kit in the entire game. Go piggy, go over the wall. Go. Auto? Next, next season, hopefully. Scorch? Good. And then the last thing, the cherry on top to make this game, like for this commentary, my advice to you, now we report this pig jungler. And there you have it.